Venomous Duck is the stage you need to complete to unlock Ashvini Desert stages 5 through 7, and it has no reward other than that, fortunately. So, it starts off right away with Director Kurosawa as the first boss. This guy has 600,000 health and the attack power of like 58,000, so he'll insta kill everything you deploy, which kind of sucks, but he only attacks every 13 seconds, which isn't too bad. But he's also supported by a new behemoth enemy called Dark Joe. Uh, this thing has the stats shown, as you can see it has 2 million health, which is quite a lot, with 20 speed and 11 knockback counts, as well as only 250 range, it complements Director Kurosawa quite well. Because he has so many knockbacks, he'll often get knocked back behind Director Kurosawa, and with Kurosawa's 700 range, he'll annihilate your entire front line, and then Dark Joe is free to walk back up in front of him again, and keep moving forward to help pave the path for Director Kurosawa. Although Dark Joe has a base 250 range, he also has a weird multi-hit mechanic with each attack dealing 9,300 damage, and this happens three times. Uh, the first hit hits between 1 and 251 range, the second between 1 and 301 range, and the third between 1 and 351 range. So he kind of has Omnistrike that extends 100 range ahead of his actual attack. That means that you need attackers with over 351 range to be able to actually deal with him consistently and not die. That's why I brought uh, Drone Cat, he has 355 range, and Manic Dragon who has 410. You can also bring Normal Dragon, that's fine too. But yeah, just be aware of this Omnistrike mechanic. Dark Joe also has a weird 5% chance to deal a toxic attack that would drain half of your cat's health. Uh, this happens every now and then, it's the purple looking effect that happens occasionally. Dark Joe also has Freeze, Weaken, and Surge Immune, so don't think about trying to use Bomber Cat to do some wacky cheese strat. The best way to win this stage is to just gradually chip down Dark Joe with a mix of attackers that outrange him, Manic Macho Legs Wave that deals chip whenever anything's in front of him, and Maglev and Dark Laser, although getting outranged, can tank a couple hits or just speed their way into Dark Joe's range and deal some good damage before dying pretty quickly. The stage does take a while to complete because Dark Joe has so much health, and whenever he gets knocked back, Director Kurosawa might just murder all the stuff you built up, but eventually you'll be able to beat it because these moths are constantly spawning as well as wild doges and angelic gories, and they provide a good amount of money, though they do also get in the way quite a lot of your manic dragons. But yeah, with this strategy, just deploy everything you have and eventually you'll be able to beat it. Luckily there's not much timing needed other than for maybe Maglev to, you know, get a hit in on Dark Joe. In terms of replacements for stuff I brought, of course if you have Drone's True Form Time Traveler that would help, but you can also bring Drama or Slapsticks in place of Drone, and with Uru Run, just basically any Uber Air with that outranges Dark Joe is helpful. Uru Run is kind of just the placeholder for a good Uber you have, but Uru Run's fine too. That's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.